blooming in blue. Megan shows off her burgeoning baby bump as she dazzles in diamonds at glitzy black tie bash in Fiji with Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex showed off her growing baby bump as she attended a lavish black tie reception with Prince Harry on the first day of their royal visit to Fiji. Meghan Markle cradled her stomach in the stunning Fijian blue gown at the glitzy event before they attended a state dinner hosted by the president of the South Pacific nation Jayoji Conrad at the Grand Pacific Hotel. The Duchess wore her dark hair long and loose and accessorized the dress by designer designer Safiya with diamond drop earrings, giving the clearest glimpse yet of her bump. Fiji is the latest stop on Harry and Meghan's 16-day tour which will see them also travel to New Zealand. Tonga and then back to Australia. Guests, diplomats, local business leaders and the cream of Fijian society, gathered for the champagne reception ahead of the state dinner at the hotel where the royal couple are staying during the visit. One guest said the light blue dress was clearly Fijian blue in a nod to her hosts. The Duchess also wore drop diamond earrings but Kensington Palace did not say where they were from. As the couple entered the reception room there was a drum roll before they were announced. They then went circulated the reception meeting local dignitaries. Royal fans also praised the prince for being a supportive husband who was spotted joining his pregnant wife and toasting with water instead of alcohol. One wrote on Twitter, also sweet of Prince Harry to join her and her water toast. Another said, nice good job Harry supporting Meg during her pregnancy. The Grand Pacific Hotel is a favorite among royals, with the Queen staying there five times in 1963, 1970, 1973, 1977 and 1982. Prince Charles has checked in three times, in 1970, 1985 and 2005 and Prince Andrew stayed in 1998. Princess Anne was a guest in 2006. During his speech at the event, the president of Fiji Jayoji Conrad paid tribute to Harry's late mother Diana. He said he was sure she would be proud of the man Harry had become and that he had found happiness and love with Meghan. Speaking at the dinner Harry said he and his wife were overwhelmed by the welcome they received and said, It really is a privilege to be here. We share commonwealth values and common goals, a love of rugby and a sense of humor. Our ties run deep. Your soldiers fought with the British Armed Forces during the First and Second World Wars, and continue to serve alongside our soldiers to this day, with more than 1,250 Fijians currently serving. I must emphasize my respect, admiration and camaraderie with the Fijian soldiers that I served with in Afghanistan. We trained together, we fought together and, most importantly, we laughed together. Harry also referenced the visit his grandmother, the Queen made to the islands in 1953. He said, This visit is particularly nostalgic for us as a young married couple. My grandparents stayed in this very hotel, the Grand Pacific, a number of times over the years. But this visit is also an opportunity to learn more about the future of Fiji, your economic growth, sustainable tourism development and social enterprises. We are really looking forward to meeting the students at the University of the South Pacific and the young leaders from all walks of life. The health and sustainability of this planet depends on the younger generation and they are full of optimism, so let's listen to them. The pregnant Duchess had opted to rest instead of attending a couple of engagements in Australia, including traveling around the uneven terrain of Fraser Island in Queensland. But she did join her husband for a public walkabout on Kingfisher Bay Jetty and was seen holding her stomach as she made her way along the pier. The couple have been given a number of toys for the baby during their engagements so far, including an animal-themed changing mat on Fraser Island and a mini lifeguard uniform from the stars of PV's Bondi Rescue. Harry suggested that he hoped they are expecting the girl as he attended a cycling event at the Invictus Games on Sunday. A video posted online showed a well-wisher calling out, Congratulations, I hope it's a girl. To which he replied so do I. Earlier today Prince Harry took a sip of traditional drink kava and was offered a roast pig and a whale's tooth as he was officially welcomed to Fiji with his wife. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were presented with the gifts as they watched a ceremony in Albert Park in capital Suva as their marathon Commonwealth tour continued. The couple waved to the crowd as they arrived in their motorcade to the Virkura Carvi Vacavigno, which mirrors the one attended by the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh in 1953. Harry and Meghan sat on a stage as he was given the whale's tooth, a sign of wealth, in the Vacasabu, 
before he were given kava, a drink made from a mashed plant root and the Akonavekachuriga. Harry, his three medals catching the floodlights, looked on as the kava was made with the root wrung out and a bowl passed to the duke on the stage. He accepted the bowl and held it to his lips as the crowd cheered. Rain began to fall again as the lavo, a presentation of food of a roast pig and a basket of dalo, a root vegetable like a potato, was offered to the duke. He told the crowd, again to huge cheers of delight, Beulah Venica, the Duchess and I look forward to meeting as many of you as possible during the next two days and celebrating the links and close friendship between Fiji and the United Kingdom. He signed off Venica, or thank you, to laughter. To close the ceremony, the couple watched a meek, a traditional dance with Harry leaning forward in his seat. Dozens of people from the village of Naklo took to the Albert Park turf to perform for the Duke and Duchess. The area is known for its strong links to the armed forces. The couple sat on a raised dios with everyone seated below them as a mark of respect. No one is allowed to wear anything on their heads or have anything above their head like an umbrella as per traditional protocol. As the couple arrived in Fiji today Meghan was forced to hold on to her hat as she touched down in a windy Fiji with Prince Harry.